Hey everybody, today we're going to take a quick look at Bullet Train, directed by David Leitch and starring Brad Pitt, Joey King, and a whole mess of people. Brad Pitt plays a man named Ladybug. Obviously not his real name. He is a former assassin who has had one too many jobs go very wrong due to his horrible bad luck, and now he just does smash and grabs. And for his next assignment, he has to get onto a bullet train headed for Kyoto, grab a briefcase, and get off at the next stop. Simple. Or it would be if several other assassins weren't also on the exact same train with their own missions. And what was supposed to be a quick smash and grab turns into a two-hour train ride to hell and glorious mayhem ensues. I've been looking forward to this since the trailer came out. I thought it looked really exciting. And as soon as the movie started, I got a bit worried because it does start a little slow. And there's a weird moment right off the bat where Ladybug loses a key to a storage locker where he's supposed to pick something up, which I guess is supposed to highlight his bad luck. But then he just picks the lock like it's nothing, so his bad luck is really just a minor inconvenience. I'm not really sure what the point of that was. But once it got going and the mayhem really started to ramp up, I did enjoy myself. Ladybug's I wasn't even supposed to be here today attitude is very funny, as is his streak of terrible luck, which seems to affect those around him more than himself. There's a whole lot of people that end up dead pretty much by accident. Two other assassins I found really entertaining are known as Tangerine and Lemon, played by Aaron Taylor Johnson and Brian Tyree Henry. Their constant banter was hilarious, and I really liked Lemon's weird obsession with Thomas the Tank Engine and how he uses that to, like, evaluate people's personalities. So weird and so funny. But with all of this silliness, there is also a serious story going on as a man named Kimura, played by Andrew Koji, is also on board the train looking for revenge against the people who tried to murder his son. There's also Michael Shannon, who plays a crime boss known as White Death, and he is a very intimidating presence. And it can be tricky to find that right balance between the serious and the silly, but I thought the movie pulled it off pretty well. And in the middle of all this is Joey King's character, Prince. Her parents wanted a boy. She is very good at playing all sides of this conflict and does a good job keeping you guessing what her true motivations are. And I did like how the story ties all of these characters together. At first, it seems like they're all just thrown in here completely at random, but of course you know it can't be that simple. And over time, the pieces of the puzzle all start to come together, and it's done very well. One aspect of this movie that kind of threw me off was the cast. And it's not because they didn't do an excellent job or anything. They did. The acting was solid all around. But the movie takes place in Japan, and there are remarkably few Asians on this train from Tokyo to Kyoto. How does that happen? And the movie is based on a book which does feature primarily Japanese characters. And it's a little weird that they chose to completely revamp the ethnic backgrounds of most of the characters, but kept the Japanese setting. And they easily could have changed the setting or cast predominantly Asian actors. It's not like you can't make a movie with an all-Asian cast. It's been done and done successfully. You think Hollywood would have figured that out by now? But instead, they try to go somewhere in the middle, and it just feels off. But despite the weird casting choices and the slow start, I did have fun with it. Not as much as I expected, but I liked it. I don't know if I'd say it's worth full price, but as a matinee, sure, go for it. I myself saw it on National Cinema Day for three whole dollars. Money well spent. And that's all I have to say about Bullet Train. Till next time, take care.